you believe in God for healing in any area of your life, I need you to build an altar right where you are. He said, if my people who are called by my name, are there anybody in this room that understands that you're called by his name? Then lift those hands and say, God, I need you to heal the land. Isaiah 53 verse 5 But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Jeremiah 17 verse 14 Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Exodus 23 verse 25 And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Psalm 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. James chapter 5 verse 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. James 5 verse 15. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Verse 16, confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Psalm 30 and 2, O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Psalm 118 and 17, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Matthew chapter 9, verse 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Mark chapter 5, verses 25 through 29. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse, she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Mark chapter 5, verse 34. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 16. I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away and will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. John chapter 10, Verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 13. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Psalm 103, 2 through 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Psalm 107 and 20. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. Matthew chapter 8 verses 14 through 15 And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her, 
and she arose and ministered unto them. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 35 For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew chapter 9 verses 27 through 30 And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him crying, and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Mark chapter 7, verses 31 through 37. And again, departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the coast of Decapolis, and they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impediment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hand upon him, and he took him aside from the multitude, and put his fingers into his ears. And he spit, and touched his tongue, and looking up to heaven, he sighed, and saith unto him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And straightway his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spake plain. And he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much more, a great deal they published it, and were beyond measure astonished, saying, He hath done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me, to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. John chapter 5 verses 1 through 9 After this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda. Having five porches in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step of down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. 
and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was the sabbath john chapter 5 verse 14 afterward jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him behold thou art made whole sin no more lest a worse thing come unto thee John chapter 3, verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 11. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. Heavenly Father, we come to you, Father God, thanking you, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our helper, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our friend, Lord God. You are our keeper, Lord God. You are our light, Lord God. You are our life, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our healer, Lord God. You are our savior, Lord God. You are our deliverer, Father God. You are our way maker, Lord God. You are our salvation, Lord God. You are our way, Lord God. You are the truth, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that there is no one like you, Lord God. There is no one beside you, Father God. For you are our Lord, Father God. You alone are our Lord. There is no one else, Father God. No one else can take your place. There is no one that comes close to you, Father God. For you are good, Lord God. You are kind, Lord God. You are compassionate, Lord God. You are merciful, Father God. You are loving, Lord God. You are everything that we could ever need, Father God. You are our keeper, Lord God. You are the supplier of our every need, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you hear us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can call you friend, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our Father, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we have the opportunity to come to you, Lord God. We have the invitation to come to you, Lord God, to speak with you, Lord God, to hear from you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have your way in our lives, Father God. Your tender mercies are over all of your works, according to Psalm 145 and 9. We will give thanks unto you, our Lord, for you are good. Your mercy endureth forever according to first chronicles chapter 16 verse 34 we will give thanks to you father god we will give thanks to you father god for everything that we have comes from you lord god we will exalt you oh god we will praise your name father god for you have done wonderful things oh god your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth according to isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus Revelation chapter 4 verse 11 says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for keeping our hearts and our minds stayed on You. Keep our eyes fixed on You, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we will continue to walk boldly for You, Lord God. Help us to trust in Your Word. Help us to rely on Your Word. Help us to have your word in our hearts, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for using us for your glory, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you've already done, Lord. We praise you. We give you honor and we give you glory. In the mighty, marvelous, magnificent, wonderful, precious name of Jesus. Amen. Omnipotent. 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 Om